Hey everyone, uh, Neeraj here from the Pabli team. And in this video, I'm going to show you how you can get structured AI responses for just about any question that you are putting in and asking the AI to answer. If you see this uh, sheet here, uh, what I'm trying to do is I'm just trying to get the city name for different questions. For example, the first question reads, which city has the most skyscrapers in the world? And I want the response, the AI respond response to be a city name in the column B. Similarly, which river flows through Cairo? Now, even though this is a trick question because I'm asking it that which river flows through Cairo, but actually I will still tell the AI that I only want the city names to appear here. So it is actually a trick question just to see if the AI gives uh, the city name or not, or whether it starts giving the river name uh, directly. So it is actually a trick question. The third question is in which city would you find the world's largest stock exchange? And you can basically see there are different questions with different city names that I'm going to ask. All the answers need to be put on column B and the responses should only include the city name and not anything else. Also, if there is any other variations of different questions, it will still output the city name and not confuse itself to answer something else totally different. So let me tell you how you can build this automation and how you can get the values which are completely structured in response. So the step involves going to Pabli Connect and also opening up the OpenAI structured output page. If you want to access this page, all you have to do is write OpenAI structured output in your Google. And the first link is the structure output and it will actually lead you to the very same page that I have opened earlier, right? The first step that you will have to do is click on login and you will have to give access to your account. In my case, I'm just going to act, give it access to my account. And I will be redirected back to the structured output page. Now I want to try this structured output inside a playground. So I'll just click on playground. Now what I will do is I will hover over to this response format tab and I will just click that I want the JSON schema to be output. Now JSON schema is a predefined set of output that you want to receive from an AI, right? And rather than writing a schema here, you can just generate the schema here. I want the AI to respond back with the city name of the question. The JSON should only return the city name. I'm writing it with underscore, but you can still write it directly as well. Only return the city name and nothing else. So this is a JSON schema that I am just giving it uh, as a prompt. And based on this JSON schema, it actually created a name of the definition, which is city response. The schema is an object. Even if you are not able to understand it, that, that is also fine. But the required field is the city underscore name field. This is the key that we really want to have in our output. And we wrote that it is strict zero, strict true, which means it will always return only this key and it will be strict in returning this key. Okay. So I'm just going to save it. Right. Now the question is, which city has the most scrapers in the world? So I will just play around and I will just answer I enter my user message to see if it responds well or not. Uh, name the name of the city based on the question below. In fact, I will just write, give me the name of the city based on the question below. Which city has the most skyscrapers in the world? And I'm just going to run it. So it says city Hong Kong. And if you can see the response is adheres to our uh, requirement, which is city underscore name is Hong Kong. So it basically gives the JSON that we really want. It didn't reply anything else, right? So what we are going to do is we are going to build this automation in Pabli Connect so that it basically takes in the question one by one. And I have written hundred questions here and it will still answer. It will directly answer all the questions at once. So let me just create, go to connect.pabli.com slash dashboard and click on create workflow button. And I will write the name of the structured AI response. Workflow name is a structured AI response. I'll just create it in the home folder. So the first step involves 
getting data from Google Sheet uh, to this workflow. So I will select Google Sheets and the trigger event will be new or updated spreadsheet row. It gave us the webhook URL. So I'll just copy this webhook URL. The first step involves installing the extension. So basically you can basically go to get add-ons and search for Pabli Connect webhooks. So this is the add-on that you have to search for. You have to just click it and you have to just install it. In my case, it is installed. So I'm, it is giving me the icon of uninstall, but otherwise you will have to install it. Next, go to extensions. This menu item will start to appear as soon as the extension is involved, installed. Uh, next, you have to just click on initial setup. And the webhook URL that we copied from our workflow, we just have to paste it here. And our trigger column, trigger column is the last column of your sheet, which is the B column till which we want the data to appear. So I'm just writing the webhook URL all over again. And I will just write on send test. So it says no data found in row two. So I will just write trigger column as uh, A. And you can see the test data is sent successfully. And if you see, uh, it basically gave us the question right here, which city has the most skyscrapers in the world? The spreadsheet name is name of the city quiz and basically it gave us all the data. Now, next step is we want to ask this question in a structured way through an open AI integration. So we actually have a lot of open AI integration. So we will choose open AI, chat GPT, DALI and Whisper. And we will be using chat GPT advanced right here. Okay. Next, we will be connecting it. Uh, to connect, we will have to go to the OpenAI keys page and basically we will have to generate a secret key. You can just click this button on create new secret key and a key will be generated. That key you just have to enter it here and your connection will be made. In my case, I have already generated a key so I will be using a existing key in my account and I will be just saving it. So my chat GPT is now connected, right? Uh, currently I am not uh, changing any model right here, even though this, the structured output is not supported by GPT 3.5 turbo model. So it will give us an error and we just want to expect an error. So I will just leave it as it is. Next is the messages and messages is the array that you will have to submit to get any structured output. So what I will do is I will go to the chat playground all over again and I will click on code. And if you can see the code right here, everything that is inside the messages is something that will go inside this messages field right here. Okay. So messages is an array right here. Don't worry when I say array, all you have to do is just copy this and you have to paste it there. Uh, the only thing that you will have to change is uh, currently we actually asked it one question uh, where it responded to us. So we will first delete that response because we do not want the response to be sent uh, at the time of building an automation. So we will just initially delete this assistant response. Uh, the message will be okay. So I will just click on code button all over again. I will copy the message array, which starts from here. And I will copy it till this curly bracket. Uh, then it says comma. So I will just copy this messages from this array starting uh, till this till the end of this specific curly bracket okay and it includes the response format schema that we actually generated earlier so i will just copy this and i will just paste it right here okay so don't worry about any of these things right here uh, the only thing is if you see this output right here it says give me the name of the city based on the question below and this was your question, which city has the most skyscrapers in the world? So what I will do is the point where it was written, which city has the most skyscrapers in the world? I will just remove it and I will just map the value of the question from step one. Okay. So which city has the most skyscrapers in the world? Okay. And rest, everything seems okay to me. The only thing that you also have to see here is that your model name is GPT-40. So I will just copy this model name. I will enable the select AI model and I will just paste GPT-4O here as well. Okay. 
rest of the thing you can basically leave as it is so you don't have to actually worry about anything else you just have to click on save and send test request to see if the response is coming fine or not and you can see it says that the choice zero message content city name is hong kong okay now what will happen is whenever we are going to send all these data one by one uh, from our uh, Google Sheet, uh, it will basically reach this uh, trigger step and then the question will be sent to the OpenAI step and this mapping will keep on changing for different different questions. And after the mapping changes, the response will also change but the key will always remain same. It will always remain the city name and the value will always remain like this and the value will keep on changing but the key will remain like this only. Now what we will do next is we will be updating the value of the Google Sheet right here. So whatever the question is gone going here we will be keeping on updating the value right here based on that. So I will again choose Google Sheets and then I will use uh, the update row values I will connect it I'll click on save because my connection is already there my my sheet name is name of the city's quiz so I'll select that one it gave me the sheet name which was sheet one it is asking me which range it needs to update and then the value in the double quotes so I just want to update one uh, value which is B2 but the column will keep on changing so I will also map this value because different different questions will come in different different columns so I will write because B will be constant so I will write B and the range is changing so I will change to row index which is 2 so my row index will be 2 so I will pick this row index from Google Sheet step 1 and then the value will be in double quotes so I will write double quotes here and the open AI response will be the city name okay and I will just click on save and send test request to see if everything is working fine and I'll just go here and you can see the city name is Hong Kong right here okay now it seems my automation is completely built what I'm trying to do is I'm going to I'm I'm getting the data of the question from this trigger then I'm passing it through an open AI structured response and then I'm just updating the value through a Google Sheet right here so it seems my automation is ready and it is also active now before I press the send all data button there is just one more thing that we have to remember uh, the column has we actually have hundred city names in our sheet and if you try to send all these hundred data at once uh, the user quota for sending the data and updating the row uh, through a Google Sheet API will actually be exhausted, right? Because it supports up to 50 or 60 operations and after that it is starts failing. So just to make sure that even if it fails, it should retry after some time. Uh, we have to go to the, our workflow here and we will be enabling an auto re-execution settings one here, right? Usually it is disabled, but in my case, I have done it up to two attempts. So basically, even if some step fails, because it will definitely fail after 30 or 40 updates, we actually are going to uh, save an attempt so that even if it fails, it will reattempt the failed step automatically after some time. So I'm just going to click on do the reattempt for two times. You can basically even set it up to three times or something like that and that will keep on re-attempting until the failed step is also re-executed. Now this is something that Tabli handles automatically for you. So all you have to do is you just have to send all the data one by one. But in, in the case it fails after certain rows, it will automatically start to re-execute on its own without you having to do anything. So now what I will do is I will just go to extension, Pabli Connect webhook and I will just click on send all data. Now let's see how it all responds. Ideally it should respond with the city name of all the questions but let's see how it all responds back. So this is how it is responding back.
and and i think it actually worked perfectly fine there are few steps where it didn't uh executed the steps for example which cities underground metro is called the tube and i think the reason is it must have failed after a certain number of steps and on re execution this step will automatically succeed so actually you don't have to do anything you just have to leave your sheet for about uh i i i would say 10 20 minutes and it will also be updated even if it is not updated right now so this was just a demo to explain you how the structured response work it is actually a fundamental way to get a structured output from an ai which is usually so this is how you can basically get a structured output from an ai to respond to your questions based on our predefined json schema from your end you can basically also define multiple things in your json schema like if you want multiple keys you can also define that or you can basically customize the json schema as per your requirement or as per your need so i feel that you must have understood uh, how all the structured data component works and i think it might really be helpful in your workflows now it might not be just useful inside public connect but just in case even if you are building something uh this structured response might be something that you must definitely try out also the values that you see were not updated don't worry about that inside public connect because re execution will actually take care of those values automatically after around 10 to 15 minutes and if you leave your sheet right there automatically all the values will be updated so i guess this was a way to show you how the entire structured output inside openai works uh let me know if you have any questions and you can also leave comments under the video just in case if you want to ask anything and i will be happy to answer those questions for you thank you